Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Dustin Grace, and it's been a while. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happened. Like, I, I just kind of fell off the map there, uh, making videos and uh, doing stuff. And um, well, I know what happened. Uh, I went back to work, and work has been uh, consistently kicking my ass. And uh, my personal life has kind of gone uh, off the rails a little bit. So um, I, I've kind of stayed away from YouTube for a little bit. But um, I got some things planned to do, hopefully sometime when I find time. And uh, the newest episode of the podcast is up. Um, it's a little technical glitchy, but hey, it's still an episode. Um, and then the, the guys had the big Smash Brothers and Mario Kart game night, so uh, a lot of people joined in on that. Sorry I couldn't be there, um, had things to tend to. But uh, anyway, I uh, received this in the mail. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, some of us get together and do a Secret Santa every year. And uh, the person who got me is Devil May Pie, or Danny. And uh, I'm actually really excited to open this box because um, if you're not subscribed to Devil May Pie, go check out his channel. He just uh, got back from um, his deployment and he's starting to make videos again and do all that stuff. But he just got back from Japan and... I'm just waiting until I have like enough time to watch all of the uh, Japan pickup videos in one big crush. I think that'd be great. But um, his channel, uh, I'm really glad to see him uh, coming back to the YouTube community after being away for a while. But anyway, he just went to Japan. So um, I'm really excited to see if there's Japan goodies in here. Because we all prepared an Amazon wish list that, you know, is uh, can sometimes be a little generic. So I'm hoping... There's a lot of Japanese goodies in here. So without further ado, grab a steak knife and let's cut this bad boy open. And I just sent out my uh, Secret Santa package. Um, I was... It's just so hard for me to, like, do anything these days. Um, I haven't even, like, the last week I've barely... I've played Smash a bit, but I've barely done any gaming. Like, I really need to get Tales of... Uh, parts done so I can start Persona Q because I, I really have doubts that I'm going to finish Persona Q by the end of the year. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this thing open. And I apologize for the bad lighting. Um, this is the only way I could think of to do this. <clears throat> Read me. Alright. Jeez. Oh my. He even gift wrapped at them. Ooh! Ooh, what's that? I'll have to look at it in a minute. I have to read this first. Dear Dustin, hope this package finds you well. This note is typed due to my handwriting being complete and utterly shit and incomprehensible. In this package, you will find an assortment of neat things, all marked numbers one through four. If you can't tell, already tell, I highly suggest you open up the many packages in order from one to four, building more hype in the process. Here are a few hints to get you started. Item one. One of my favorite all-time animes, I feel you enjoy as well, being a huge sci-fi fan fanatic. I'm sure it'll be right up your alley. Okay. Uh, number two is on your Amazon wish list, plus you already know how I feel about this game. No-brainer. Hmm. Uh, number three, Japanese version of one of your all-time favorite RPGs, and mine too, as of this year. Interesting. And items number four, the finality. You know I recently visited Japan and just had to get you something, some DQ swag. That's all you have to say. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy this festive time of year and have a great Christmas, Han oh, he, said, he wrote Xmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, holiday, whatever it is you celebrate. Sort of a generic version of Christmas, I guess. The, the, the uh, consumer version of Christmas. Uh, cheers, Danny Devil May Pie. So, all right. And then wrapped up in the, uh, the thing, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's from Dan Ganrompa. Uh, it looks like it's got one and two mixed in there, and I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to ask Danny what it is, if it's stickers or... Wait, maybe it's some kind of bookmarks or something. I don't know. It's got, like, little things on the back there, which I'm really happy to have the um, the sauna scene right there. That's just... That makes everybody's day. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look into this and see what it is because I don't read a lick of Japanese, and I'm not exactly... Well, actually, aha! Easy open package. Let's just pull it out and see what the hell they are. And they are kind of like, yeah, they're like stickers. So I got uh, Biakia there. 
<laughs> There's a good one. Everyone loves her, yeah. Those ones. And I really like this guy because he um, he reminded me of my friend Andy, except he needs to have like a goatee beard and then he'd be my friend Andy. And then of course you have to have Monokuma. So anyway, uh, yeah, some uh, weird little stickers there. I probably won't actually stick them on anything because things like that, I don't know, I like to keep in somewhat good condition. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to actually do with these. But that's awesome because I did love Danganronpa 1 and 2. So... All right, so we gotta open these in the order to build hype. Okay, so here is package number one. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. What's this? Now what is this? Ergo proxy, I've never actually heard of this. Huh. I'll have to look into this. Actually, the art style looks really cool, really like dark. And, of course, the terrible lighting's not going to pick up hardly anything, but I don't know. If you guys know anything about this, uh, let me know. Um, is this is this a single movie, or is it actually a series? 575 minutes, so it's actually a series, a complete series. Read the side of the box. Um, so, yeah, that's actually really exciting. I was actually, you know, I've been looking to get more into anime and try to get more into stuff, but um, I just... I just haven't, and I've been lazy about it, so this is great. And it also reminds me I need to go back and finish watching Steins Gate, which means I need to start Steins Gate over again because it's so dense. Uh, I've let it set too long. So, good stuff. I'm actually, that's actually really exciting. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to read the back of the box and see what that is. The art style already has me sold. Numeral two, or dos, or zvai, or I don't know what the Japanese for two is. I should. I don't know why I don't. Um, anyway, let's get this thing open here. <clears throat> this makes me feel bad because the person I sent it out, I didn't wrap them. I just kind of sent them in the box because I'm lazy. Oh, Danny. That's that's actually really awesome because, you know, I was actually really thinking about replaying this. Final Fantasy X, X2 on the Vita, which, um, I, you know, as much as I love console gaming... Man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, am I becoming such a handheld gamer because it's just so much easier. And with the power of the Vita and with the uh, the 3DS, especially with the new 3DS coming out, uh, I, I, honestly, like my heart, I'd rather play, like I'm playing Tales of Hearts on the Vita and I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I love its old school feel. Um, so that's great, you know. I, I really need to give 10 another shot, because I do kind of, being an old school fan and loving 6 and 9 so much, when 10 came out, I kind of, ooh, they're changing things too much, and I really want to give 10 another shot, and hopefully the ha 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 isn't as painful this time. But you know, 10 too, I remember playing 10 too, and I never finished it, um, and uh, yeah, I remember having a good time with it, but just never finishing it. And uh, it might be fun to go back and retry it on this. I know some people are probably like, but uh, I'd actually like to retry 10-2 sometime. Hey, I loved 13-2, so who knows? Oh my, oh my, these are getting bigger. What was the clue for this one, for three? Japanese version of one of your all-time favorite RPGs, and mine too as of this year. And it's a thick box, man. What is that going to be? Let's find out together. Huh? You son of a bitch. That is brilliant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the PC version. That's awesome. Because I don't have a lot of these Japanese PC versions. It's the PC version of Trails in the Sky. Um, of course, that's first chapter. You see the FC right there. Uh, this is, I mean, it's so crazy how like a modern RPG can just blow you away, and, uh, man, man oh man oh man, was Trails in the Sky that game, um, really awesome, if you guys have not played Trails in the Sky, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, um, fucking go do it, and then prepare yourself for, like, the worst gut punch ever, because we're still waiting on second chapter, Exceed says it's coming, but there's no guarantee that the third or the rest of the series, um, 
which there's like, I think there's like six or seven games in this series now. Um, it's it's unless like a company just sets down or the fan translators, if they jailbreak the Vita and the fan translators start getting a hold of these games and start pumping these things out, I'm set. But uh, as far as another company goes, I don't. X Seed is just too small to do this and do the other games that they want to do. So I can understand why they're sort of walking away from it. But man, don't let that stop you from playing this because it is one of the best RPGs out there, period. Even though it's on the PSP. And I think you can download it onto your Vita from the PSN store. Don't quote me on that, but it is on Steam now. So if you want to play it that way, uh, do so. But man, Danny, that's awesome. It's just an awesome piece to have sitting there and... And, like, I wonder what that book is. Hmm. I don't know. Really exciting. Really exciting stuff. All right. And finally. Oh, wait. What's that? What's that? Oh. That thing is heavy. Metallic Monsters Gallery. It's like a, it, it's not really a metal slime, but it's like a copper slime. That thing's got some weight. Some weight to it, man. That's like a, that's awesome. I need more slimes. I, I do need more slimes. Dragon Quest being my favorite series. Um, here we go. Number four with a slime. Holy crap! There's a ton of shit in here, dude. I was expecting like one thing. Hold on, we got some tape stickage. Well, first off, um, is that, uh, okay, that is, um, Dragon Quest Monsters 2. I think it's, is it Kobe's Journey, or is it, I think it's Kobe's Journey over here. I can't remember the names of the, the two individual games, but, uh, I, I, these little boxed Dragon Quest games, I'm trying to, you know, I, I have, which I haven't done the video for yet, but I do have a nice little Dragon Quest, uh, collection for the Japanese games, because Dragon Quest is my favorite series of all time. Um, so this is a wonderful, wonderful edition. Uh, thank you, man. I was actually kind of hoping the price sticker would have been left on, because it's so ridiculous. Like, a box Game Boy Color game over here would be, like, a ridiculous price, it, it feels like. But over in Japan, these things, they just kind of give them away over there. Um, got some, uh, metallic... Well, they're not really metallic, but they have, like, a metallic sheen to them. A bunch of, um... Monster stickers that I should probably figure out something to do with. Those are awesome. See, that's the thing. Like, you go over to Japan, and it's like you can trip and fall, and you just, like, fall into Dragon Quest stuff. Oh, that's awesome! Rocket Slime 1! Um, I do have the game for the DS, but uh, there's the Game Boy Advance version, and it does have a price sticker on it. Um, wow. So that would be... $15 for a box complete copy, I'm assuming complete, of uh, Mandrake, that must be the store, of uh, Rocket Slime 1. Just look at that box art, like the box art over there is so much better than the box art over here. That, that, that'd have some generic crap box art over here, where they try to make the slime look muscular and manly. That is fucking awesome. Dragon Quest X on the 3DS. Something you will never see over here. Um, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. I knew they were doing this over there, but um, just the fact that they put Dragon Quest X on the 3DS and looking at the screens on the back of there, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, of course, you can um, do whatever you want to with screenshots on the back of the box, but that is amazing. And I don't know if it got a little bit of da it might have got a little bit of damage in uh, the shipping, but I'm not worried about that. Screw it. That's that's just awesome that they were able to put this game on the 3DS. Um, still haven't seen it over here, but you know, over in Japan, they can you know put it wherever they want. Um, wow, Danny, you outdid yourself, man. I, I feel. I feel lazy now, comparatively, with my package, because I just didn't have any time 
to really do anything with it. Ah! Yeah, that's it. So, finally here, what is this? This is a uh, slime uh, stylus, and I'm assuming that's a screen wipe. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be using those. Those are just going to go somewhere to look pretty. To look pretty. So, anyway, man, Danny, dude, that is awesome. That is awesome sauce right there. That is a good... <sighs> that is a good Secret Santa package, and it definitely put the one I sent out um, today to shame. I don't know what else to say. That's... Uh... That's that's a great way to kick off uh, the Christmas season. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, I will uh, get back into the swing of doing videos again. But until that time, take care, and I'll see you next time.